Hey guys, and welcome to Cryplay's Haunting Ground. This is a game made by Capcom back in 2005 for the PlayStation 2. When, well, you get a dog in it. That's a selling point for me. Let's go. Okay then, so I'm this rather foxy young female in a sheet, nice sheet by the way, and I've been captured by a man with a great adequate nature of butchery, and a crow doesn't like me. Alright then, that's fine, I mean, he could have probably done much more worse than me than put me in a cage and give me a nice sheet, so I guess I'm not in that bad of a situation. Okay, so, what's over here, lady? Go. The door's being blocked by that wooden box. There's gotta be do something. Okay. Climb through there. There's a hole here, but it's far too small for me. Okay, you... Honestly, I think you could get on your belly and just do a worm through there, but... Whatever. How about this plant? Okay, you don't like plants. Thanks for that. And you can't go over there. Okay. 
Well, there's a green fountain, probably full of Nickelodeon's gack. And there we go. Hey, more red pot. Hello? Wait, oh, kennels. Maybe this was some kind of kennel for keeping animals. Maybe. I don't think I can do anything with the red pots. Torn off, it's hard to say what kind of animal it was. But whatever it was, I don't think it's still alive. Okay, I don't know what gave you that impression, but it's it's fine. There was a shining thing there. You can actually open doors. Good job! What's this? Huh, what is it? A camomile. I don't even know what that means. But I have it. How do I... You. Camomile, type of herb. I completely... Oh. Well, thank you. I'm good, though. Bye. Alright, then. Pardon me while I murder a moth. Got it. Okay. Well, I got my camille. Or, camomile. Honestly, I still don't even remember how to pronounce this name. But it's mine. And, well, in case I get low on stamina, I can just rub it on myself and feel better. Wait, can I go through that little hole over here? Something tells me not. I can't even go through there. That bush is too po- whoa! Bush is too powerful. Okay, how about here? Can I go around? Negative. I cannot. Okay, well... Then we'll go up here. There's some flowers leading the way, so... Generally, that means a good thing. Yeah, see? Go through here. Oh, I wonder if they, uh, they can see the flicker of light from candles inside. But it's too dark to see anything else. Alright, not today. And back here. That's not gonna open. It's bolted shut from the other side. I'm not gonna... Yep. Well! There's more places! Let's go find them. I hope your feet don't hurt running around in bare shoes. Bare shoes, bare feet. Highly mit lack of shoes on your feet right now. I wonder what kind of room on the other side is. I can see the light flicker on the candles. If it's the same, okay. How about this? And these? Nope. Alright, I'll go upstairs again. Jeez, usually in horror situations you're just not supposed to go up. <laughs> go upstairs, but I'm going upstairs. Fine. This door. Opened! Good! TV! And other things. Okay. Oh. Hi. I've gathered some clothes for you. Uh, um, uh, wait, don't go. Um, excuse me, but where are we? How did I get here? Yes, Master. We will keep her here for a while. I will make sure she stays comfortable.
Oh, the lady with nice hair is kind of fucking creepy, but she brought clothes. So get changed. Put them on you. There's a change of clothes that maid had us apparently laid out. Sure. remember being in the car with. That worked. But now what should I do? If I could just find a map of this place, then I could get my bearings. People have maps of houses? Additional actions. You are now able to perform the following new action in the game. I can kick. Nice. And I can throw and set things. Throw some objects after equipping them, then place... Okay. L1 button is crouch, and R1 is backstep. I see. Push background objects. And I can push things. Whoa, charging. After running for a few seconds, the... Cool. Alright. Thank you. Kick it. That was pretty... Pretty good. Kick the bed. Good job. Great. I don't have any other thing for you. Maybe I can charge something. That was fucking horrible. <laughs> but I'll give you an A for effort. Good job. Alright, let's go. Whoa. Okay. Well, moving on up, I suppose. Or down. Let's go this way. Like <laughs> a little sidestep. Alright. Well, this place isn't so bad. Might. No. Ah. Uh, never mind. This place is pretty bad so far. Alright, open this door. The door is locked from the other side. Well, you're terrible. No, no! St stop it! You dummy! Okay, let's go. Over here. Alright. You. I can't look at the art. Fine. Go. Alright, what do we have in here? A library full of dreams and hopes, maybe. And a shiny thing. I've obtained lavender. I know lavender. I had hand lotion like that one time. Well... My mother did. It smelled pretty good. There's something scribbled on the board. Luminescence. Luminescence are tiny creatures that respond to the ethereal energies given off by Azoth. They can't be used to help track down nearby... No, they can be used to help track down nearby Azoth. However, several precautions must be taken while handling them. 1. When luminescents come into direct contact with an Azoth-infused item or being, they send forth a small charge which shocks the, which shocks the carrier. The higher the concentration of Azoth in said carrier, the greater and more powerful the shock. Luminescence lifespan is dramatically decreased when they come into direct contact with the open air. This time differs from specimen to specimen, but is never much longer than a few minutes. Luminescence. Azoth. No clue what any of this means. 
I'm like, yeah, 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 yep, I agree. It's all kind of rubbish to me, man. Lady. Oh. Can I do this one? But the, why would you sidestep over there? Get away from there. You're not allowed to touch that desk anymore. Okay, how about this desk? Massive book stand stalwart. It looks quite old. Perhaps it's an antique. Well, looks like one. It's really dark over here. And that man's in the picture. Well, let's go. Hmm. Oh. Oh. Oh, don't scratch your groin in front of a woman, that's rude! Okay, so, I think this gentleman wants me to be his doll. Because he kind of just threw that one away and there's blood there, so I really don't think he's a nice friend. Okay, let's get the fuck out of here. Away from that guy. Obviously, you're much more nimble, so I think you're faster. I think you might have already lost him, too. No, he's definitely still chasing you. Okay. This is bad. Uh, hide. Can I hide? 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 Uh, I have to... I, I know! Oh, fuck. Alright. No! No! Hey! Hi! Bye! Okay. Sorry. Excuse me. I'm gonna go away now. Probably back to where I came from. Because everywhere else is not so good. No, no, what are you doing? Oh, okay. Oh no, what should I do? I don't know how to... D yes. Oh. Evasion points. Press... Oh! Cool! I don't... I didn't read the last part. But... Uh, wait a second, what's that? What? Oh. I am hiding under a bed. Hello. What are you doing over there, friend? Nope. I'm under here, but you don't seem to see me, so uh, I'm sorry. Now let's play with me. Oh. Uh oh. Please don't play with me today. Thank you. Under the bed, Goofy. You seem kind of disappointed. What are you gonna do about it? Nothing. Okay. All right. Bye. And the coast is clear. Well, all right. Good job. You hid under a bed like a small infant. It worked out, though. Good thing he's kind of a simple-minded and... <gasps> oh! No! No, no, no! Wait! Wait! Get under the bed! No! Fuck! I waited too long! Shit! Go, go, go! Fuck! Okay. Leave me alone, man! <laughs> Come on! Okay. Maybe if I get his doll. Can I get his doll and be a decoy or something? I, damn it! Okay, fine! Give me another bed! Open! Thank you! Go in! 
Oh, things are broken in here. That man is still following me! Leave me alone, dude! Come on! Alright, come on. Let's go. You you wanna you wanna do this? You don't wanna do this. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, you wanted to dance? A little little bit? A little bit of a jig? Look at this ass. You want this, don't you? You want it? Okay, bye. Alright, good job. You, you you confused him, you gave him a little bit of a flash, and now he is a bit dazed and startled. Now we can go back to hiding like a coward. Assuming we can actually run the right direction. So far you're having a terrible uh, luck with this man. I'm sure you deal with this all the time because you're a very attractive female. I'm sorry you have to do that. As a man, I, I have to say it's far less frequent. Apologies. So, where the hell was he at anyway? Hopefully he left somewhere. But, we can get his doll now, I think. Take it. I retained the bisque doll. Thank you. What about this? Wait. Here, cats. Go to the cats. Was there a cat in this room that I didn't notice? Oh, that's just a chandelier. That was swinging. That's not a cat at all. You! It's not a computer, that's for sure. Is it? It has alphabetic keys, though. It, it's a typewriter, man. You know? The thing that you, you type things with. You know? Like... Like... That... It's pretty basic stuff. Whoa. It's not a typewriter. Of me, <laughs> whatever. What the hell am I gonna do with that? Oh, okay. Where, where's my breasts? There we go. A thin metallic plate with lettered co letters carved into it. Use the press plate. <laughs> oh darn! I can't use breasts here. Maybe another time. Okay. Well, I have something that makes plates oh, out of words. That's good. Is this the bird cage? It looks like the remaining husk of a bird is in the cage. Well, it looks like a bird cage, so it probably is. You know, maybe. At least I hope so, otherwise I don't know what bird cages look like then. Then we just have a little bit of a problem. Either way, I think I can push this. Yeah, there you go. Hey, there's red stuff under it. Awesome. Go. Oh boy. It's like a laboratory. Time to do chemical work. Maybe find the cure for the common golem. <laughs>